A surprising announcement today from Pope Francis, who continues to make ways with his stances on hot-button issues ahead of his historic visit to the U.S. Pope Francis says he is letting priests set people free from what he calls the sin of abortion if they ask for forgiveness. We have another spectacular day ahead, and then all of us here at the Capitol were just treated to the most gorgeous sunrise over the Library of Congress and Supreme Court, thousands gathering already. The city electrified tonight. You can imagine the security in a city this size. Of course, the Pope visiting those school children Terry mentioned in Harlem. Just seeing him is just amazing. He's not the first Pope to take over Central Park, but this Pope, he's not like any other. My name is Mark Wahlberg, and I am so proud to be a part of this awe-inspiring event. <laughs> Holy Father, we are blessed and graced to be in your presence. Father, welcome to Philadelphia. But what you see here is reflective of what's going on across the country, across the world, because a man of peace is in our midst today, a man of hope. And many false many prophets false shall rise and shall deceive many. many. Twenty fifteen should mark history. If I was to use one word to describe who would be implementing it, it's everyone. Everybody is tasked with implementing the post-2015 development agenda, and that's going to be the real challenge. So everybody has to be part of the process and identify with the process, identify with the outcome, identify with the implementation. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. The Global Goals. A 15-year plan. For everyone. Everywhere. With no one left behind. With everyone equal before the law. We're all countries and we their people. Work together. In partnerships of all kinds. To make these Global Goals, goals a reality. For everyone. Everywhere. These are the United Nations Global Goals. For sustainable development. Let's, Let's get, get to work. work. Let's make it happen. One of the highlights of the Pope's visit to New York today was his visit to the National September 11th Memorial. Bring your peace to our violent war. The Pope also spoke at an interfaith service with leaders of other religions, including an imam and a rabbi. At the conclusion of the service, the Pope greeted each religious leader individually, in some cases in the manner fitting their religion, such as a bow or a sign made with the hand. You can see the Pope greeting members of the religious faiths, 
one by one. And as he entered the hall as well, greeting many who were there to see him, this is an important moment for Pope Francis and the world. Yes. And truly a historic moment, Father Andrew Carrozza. Only one other time in history have we seen such a prayer service of different faiths with the Pope. And this is how it looks from inside the Pope Mobile. Pope Francis and his personal touch is taking the city by storm. And look, the New York Post even changed its masthead to New York Pope. Tonight, the world is watching. We have gathered here tonight to commit ourselves to these global goals to build a future in which shelter... This is the most beautiful thing we all about love and unity. To go land, showing your flag, representing your country, we are one! coming here to see that the world is not such a bad place after all, that there will always be a place and time where we, people from all over the world with different cultures and religions, can all come together peacefully. know that no religion is immune from forms of individual delusion or ideological extremism. There is another temptation which we must specially guard against. The simplistic reductionism which sees only good or evil, or if you will, the righteous and sinners. We must move forward together as one in a renewed spirit of fraternity and solidarity, cooperating generously for the common good. This weekend, NASA is telling us to keep our eyes on the skies for something very special. It's a sight that won't happen again for another 18 years. So all these things line up to be a very rare event. I guess there's only been five of these in the last century. But yeah, this is a fantastic show we've got lined up, starring our own moon this Sunday night. We've got two different events lining up for a rare show, one that hasn't happened since 1982. Now, the last time a supermoon lunar eclipse happened was back in 1982. And if you missed this one, your next chance to catch a glimpse will be in 2033. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near.